habitat is a natural environment that provides plants or animals the food, water, and shelter that they need to live. Our planet has a wide variety of habitats that support many different forms of life. Bodies of water like oceans, rivers, lakes, or ponds are habitats. Have you ever looked closely at a pond? How is it different from lake, river, or ocean? What living things can be found there? Let's investigate. A pond is surrounded by land, like a lake, but is smaller than a lake. Some ponds are very large, but the ponds we see where we live are small. Pond water is usually fresh water, not salty like the ocean. Ponds don't have waves like the ocean or currents like rivers. They are calm and still. A pond habitat includes the pond, the land around it, and the plants and animals that live there. It can be natural or man-made. It can also be seasonal. After a few days of rain, ponds often form, then dry up during the summer. Before the pond dries up, it gives frogs a place to lay their eggs and the tadpoles to become adult frogs. Many animals and plants make their home in a pond habitat. Some of these animals and plants live around the pond, like butterflies, dragonflies, bees, spiders, and plants like monkey flower. Others live on the pond, like water striders and water boatmen. And some live in the pond, like water snails, scuds, dragonfly nymphs, and plants like algae. Some animals and plants even live both around and in the pond. Let's look at some animals that live in ponds. Water snails live in ponds and can cling to almost any surface for shelter. They are usually herbivores, which means they eat plants. They eat algae, small pieces of plants and roots, and dead or decaying plants in the water. By eating the decaying plants, water snails help recycle plant nutrients and keep the pond clean. Water snails can be food for animals that visit a pond, like raccoons. What do you think an animal called a scud would look like? Scuds don't have a backbone or spine. They look like tiny freshwater shrimp. Scuds are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. They find food and shelter in the shallow areas of ponds, along the muddy bottom, or in between small rocks and plants. Now let's look at the water strider, an insect that lives on the pond. Can you believe there's an insect that can walk on the water? Water striders look like they are gliding over the water, so some people call them pond skaters. Their legs are covered with microscopic hairs that hold air in special grooves and help them push away water. They travel over the surface of water at three feet per second. That's like you or me running 400 miles an hour. Where are they going so fast? They're looking for food, of course. They eat other insects, mosquito babies, called larvae, and even dead insects that they find floating on the water. Because water striders are predators that help to control pests, like mosquitoes, we call them beneficial insects. Water striders are a sign of a healthy pond. Remember we said that some animals can live both around and in the pond? The dragonfly is one of those animals. Female dragonflies like to lay their eggs in ponds where the water is calm and they are protected. The eggs are sheltered by being attached to underwater plants or inserted into the soft mud at the bottom of the pond. When dragonfly eggs hatch, they are called nymphs. As they grow, they molt or shed their skin many times, sometimes for years. The nymph and adult dragonflies are voracious predators that eat anything they can catch, such as mosquitoes, flies, larvae, and other small insects. 
when nymphs molt for the last time, they come out of the water and live above the pond as adults and continue their life cycle by laying eggs. Grown-up dragonflies are amazing acrobats of the air. They can hover, fly backwards, forwards, and sideways. Plants also live both in and on the pond. This is pond clover. Its leaves sit on top of the water where it gets sun for photosynthesis, which is the process all plants use to make their food, using sunshine, water from the soil, and carbon dioxide from the air. Pond clover roots reach down into the mud or float in shallow water. The leaves are resting spots for insects. Small animals that live in or near the water can use the roots for food, shelter, and even as a place to lay their eggs or to hide from predators. Seep monkey flower lives in a pond habitat, but outside the water. Some people think the flower looks like the face of a laughing monkey. If you use your imagination, can you see it? Monkey flowers provide food and shelter for butterflies, bees, moths, and hummingbirds. What other important things does a pond do? It acts like a sponge by catching rainwater and slowly absorbing it into the ground to prevent flooding. It acts like a bucket by collecting fresh water that local and migrating animals can use for drinking and bathing. It acts like a compost pile when dead plants and insects decompose in it and go back into the ground to feed the soil. It can even be a snack bar where animals like visiting raccoons find a tasty meal. What can we do to protect ponds? Ask your parents not to use chemicals to control insect and animal pests because many chemicals are poisonous to water and pond life. When we visit a pond, let's clean up any trash lying around and be respectful of the pond and the animals and plants who need it for shelter, water, and food. Remember, it's their home. Can you think of other ways to become a good pond caretaker? <laughs>